Let's take a look at all of the accessories that come with the 780. We'll start right here with the extension table. Your extension table is going to come with all of the feet and all of the uh, screws that you need to put the, uh, the extension table together. Um, and it's pretty easy. You're just going to screw the bottom legs in. This is a um, kind of like a channel where you can just um, uh, plug it in and that's going to go uh, connect it to the bottom of the table with the screw. So it's pretty easy to put that together. Your um, knee lift uh, controls the presser foot. And I'm just going to show you today all of the accessories and in another video we'll actually plug them in and we'll do some stitch outs with some of the different feet and how to use your knee lift. Of course the power plug. You're going to get four bobbins plus the one that comes on the machine and I'm really excited about all of the feet that this machine comes with. All of your free motion quilting. You've got an open toe versus a closed toe uh, darning foot. You have free floating feet. You have a variable zigzag foot, which is great for thread painting. You have an echo foot, which if you're trying to stay consistent around a design, and again, we'll play with some of these. This is what I'm excited about. This is a ruler foot, and you actually follow uh, rulers with um, along the edge of the foot, and it helps you do your free motion quilting. Your screwdriver for helping you do all of your um, needles, or um, you know, to uh, bring yeah, take your needles off and on, and uh, press your foot on and off you're going to get several different stitch plates. The machine has the zigzag stitch plate, but you also get a single hole stitch plate and an HP stitch plate, which is used with the HP foot. It is a scant quarter inch foot on the left needle position, which gives you a beautiful um, quarter inch seam allowance uh, when you're stitching. going to continue with the quilting feet um, you're going to get what they call a flex foot it is a walking foot you're going to get two one that's small and then a bigger one which is um, should be in here somewhere and I love these feet because they connect to the machine and it works with your feed dogs to get perfect feeding every time. The um, HP uh, flex foot comes with a zipper foot toe and you can buy different toes for those as well. Since we're quilting, we're gonna continue with the quarter inch foot so your O foot is the quarter inch foot with a guide and it also comes without a guide to give you um, options whether you want to use that or not. If you're doing applique work, you're going to want your F foot and the F foot comes as a regular foot as well as an open toe foot. And then you have other feet, you have your overcasting foot, you have your blind hem foot, you have your button foot, so if you're wanting to stitch a button down, you have uh, that T foot, as well as a buttonhole, automatic buttonhole foot, and I will again show you how to use this one. Um, your button is going to go on the back side here, and that's what tells the machine how wide to make that hole. So we'll play with those two. You have a rolled hem foot. So if you want to do some napkins or hem the bottom of um, anything that needs a small hem, you could do your rolled hem. 
If you have a hard time staying straight, this attaches to the uh, uh, extension table and you can uh, move it so that it gives you the ability to stay straight, it gives you that extra ridge. So it's an awesome little extra piece. Your quilt guide attaches to your walking foot. And again, it's another way of uh, staying consistent within the width of the seam. You have several different thread caps and the thread caps, you should mirror the size of the cap with the size of the spool. And again, I will show you what I mean by that. If you're doing twin needles or stitching with a twin needle, you're going to need two different um, uh, thread holders. So this is your additional thread holder that connects to the machine. You have a multi-purpose uh, tool which um, helps you if you are going through very thick or if you're starting out in a thin layer and you're climbing up to a, a thicker area, it helps you um, stay, uh, keep the, the foot flat and consistent. And I'll show you how to do that. You have your seam ripper, your cleaning brush, your stylus so that you can navigate through your screen. And of course your needles. You have your accessory tray and inside your accessory tray, you'll find a little pin. And that is if you want to use a circular or if you're working with a circular design and you wanna stay consistent, I'll show you how to play with that as well. And as we move down, you'll see that you have a couple of uh, foot controls and your the large one is the actual foot control. The smaller one attaches um, to the uh, foot control and you can attach it either to the left side or you can turn turn it around and attach it to the right side so here's your left side here's your right side it connects to the side and it is a cutting um, so if you are uh, at the end of your stitch and you want to cut your thread you can step on this instead of uh, hitting your scissor so that is your cutting um, presser foot. And the last thing I'll show you is your accessory box and this is where all of these great tools are going to be stored. Of course if you would rather have your accessory tray you can use uh, put your accessories in your accessory tray but you've got two options. And that's everything that comes with the uh, Elna 780 along with the cover so that when you are done and you want to keep your machine nice and clean, you have a nice uh, soft cover.